spinning top. Now spinning top looks like this. The white candle that I have mentioned on the right. A spinning top is a red or a green candle with a small body. So it could be any color, red or green, minus candle or plus candle, but with a small body. The length of shadows or wicks can vary. It could sometimes be like larger, sometimes it could be smaller. This pattern is a neutral sign in a trend, but gains importance. Once it forms part of a complex pattern. Now complex pattern, we will discuss later. Do keep an eye on this pattern because it's really important. Although it looks, looks insignificant, but it's one of the most important candlestick because it is something that once formed part of a complex pattern is extremely disastrous. Now let's look at spinning top on chart so that you can understand how it really looks in real life. Spinning top. Now spinning top is important in the complex formations. And right here we are discussing simple formations. But why am I telling you spinning top? Because once I discuss it in the complex techniques, then you should not have a problem like understanding what it is. Now a spinning top usually is like neutral pattern. It doesn't represent anything. Example right here. It opened at 37.69, closed at 38.05, so a small body. Not a big body, but a small body. It could be red or green. That is, it, if it is minus, then it is red. If it is like positive on the day, it is green. And there is a small wick or a, and a tail. Example right here, uh, the high is 38.27 from the uh, close. So it's a smaller wick. And the low is 37.55, so from the open it's what, 10, 12 cents? Nothing special. Right here, again, this is a spinning top, 38.03, 38.29, and the same wick and tail is like really short. Now, this is a neutral pattern, but it gains significance once it is part of a complex pattern. So, currently, I'm just telling you what a spinning top usually means so that once it's part of a complex pattern you can easily pick it up thank you